All right, hi guys. It's been um, quite some time since I've done a video. So um, I've just got a quite large package in from America, as, as you can see in front of me. Um, huge thanks to my friend Josh in America who helps me out with all of this. Um, the postage would kill me if I had to get it all sent separately. Um, these are all my purchases from probably about the last four to five months. Um, Look, let's just get stuck in because it took me 45 minutes just to unpack all of this stuff. So it's going to take a while to get through. All right. So we'll start with some of the stuff I have purchased or been given by some very nice people. Um, first of all, we've got an Elijah on sticker card, um, four piece. Um, this will fit perfectly in with my sticker collection. Um, I sorted this one out through trade with um, with my friend Jeff, um, who has helped me out heaps with my collecting just recently. Um, and Josh gave me this one. Thank you very much. Um, this is a new set I'm just sort of starting to chase. Um, really nice. And then there's a whole heap of these which both these guys just gave me. Um, now I can't touch on this enough, but the Elijah One Collector page that we're all involved in, or a lot of you guys that watch this video will be involved in it too, is one of the best communities out there. And um, these are just cards that these guys just gave me because we've had plenty of trades and everything throughout the time. Um, so just a huge thanks to those guys and I hope you guys enjoy what I've sent you back as well. Um, but if anyone wants to join that community, if you're an Elijah One Collector, um, Hakeem Elijah One Collectors worldwide on Facebook, one of the best collector groups going around. So. We've got the Kareem tribute card. We've got another one of my PC guys in a very early Moses rocket card. Another early Moses rocket card. Another Moses card. Um, this is your top stars. Um, another early Moses card. And another one, a um, team leaders. A super action. And a tops. Now I am a Moses collector. I collect Moses only in Rockets uniforms and in 76s. Um, another Moses card. A cream cracked pink ice. A cream prism. A cream team leaders from the same set. Now this is from a boy Josh. This is definitely a card I do not have, so very happy to add this to my collection. Um, I'm not even sure which prism this is. I'm going to have to look up. I know it's 1920, but that's about all I know about that card, so I'll look that one up and figure out what that is. Now, this is a card I'm super excited to get. Um, at one point in my collecting, I was collecting all Elijah on in Korea cards, and I only had about 30 to go. This was a card I've never owned. Um, doesn't look very special to most people, but the OP Chi up there... These are really tough to find, and um, my boy Josh just gave this to me, so thanks heaps. Um, another one I'm just starting to collect, the Hawkings. This is the Optic, not numbered. And then we've got the Orange Hawkings, which is numbered to 199. And lastly, this one just blew me away when I opened it up. This is another set which I, you're probably going to see almost all the other cards from this set in here because I've only just started collecting it. But this is the all-time greats prestige um, set. And this is the gold number to 10. Huge thanks. Josh, you're a legend. Um, I thought I may never even sort of see this, but thank you so much. And lastly, we'll finish off with the only two graded cards I've bought in this lot. And this is the purple die-cut prism. Um... Numbered to 139, I think it is. Yep, 139. Um, I wasn't really chasing graded in Prism, but this was about the only way I could get that card. And then lastly, one of my favourite sets. Um, I know it's GMA, but GMA 10 of the Silver USA. Alright, so next we'll move into some stuff. There's a bit of non-basketball, non Elijah on stuff in this next lot. And also another couple of guys I sort of collect, collect a few cards of. So... We've got the Drexler uh, Retro Super Rave. Um, oh, sorry, the Normal Rave, numbered to 399. Then lots of people are going to go, who the heck is this guy? Uh, John Mooney, he played for our local Perth Wildcats last season. 
had an amazing season and um, thanks heaps to him for coming down and playing down here. Um, and I just had to grab one of his cards. Um, this guy could definitely make the NBA. Um, he might just be a little bit too non-athletic for that, unfortunately. Um, so next is a few cards I've picked up from Com C, which you're gonna see quite a few. Um, some of my Moses stuff, which I'm just starting to do the Crusade set of Moses. Now, I'm sure some of you know these Crusades. Some of these are numbered. Um, so we've got numbered to 249, numbered to 349, numbered to 99, and numbered to 49. So nearly so nearly completed this set. I'll, I'll, I'll count this set as complete. Once I get down to the number to 10, I won't be chasing anything underneath that. Um, another little Moses set I'm doing, which is the Elite, um, the out of 10, so I've already got that one in this set, and a Dr. J Round Ball Royalty, number two, what have we got this one, number two, um, number to 25. Um, I am a, a small Dr. J fan, not, not huge, but I had to grab that one when I saw it. Next one is, you'll see another one of these a bit later on in the video, but this is the Regents of Round Ball, Larry Bird. Um, really pretty card, really super short print. I've watched a heap of case breaks on this set, and this card, one of these cards from this set seems to appear about one in every three cases. So quite a rare card. Um, beautiful card, this will be getting graded. And lastly, some baseball pickups I've got. We've got a rookie Jordan Alvarez, another Alvarez, and another Alvarez. Um, I think he's going to be an absolute gun player, so I'm just buying up a few of his rookies. Next is some really random stuff. Some magnets I just picked up. Um, I just opened these today. Um, these are old um, Pro, Pro Mag magnets. Um, I think these are about 1993-ish. I could, I could be a little bit out on that. My memory is a bit off. Um, no real big stars I got. I got a Patrick Ewing. Um, I think that's right towards the back. Um, or maybe even in the middle. Um, anyway, I'm not going to spend too long on these because I could be here all day long doing, showing you these cards. Um, see if I can find that Ewing for you. There you go. That's probably the biggest one I got out of it. But just, I like magnets as well, so I collect all the Elijah one ones. Next is another set I'm just sort of starting, um, the Epic Signatures. So we've got George Gervin, Elgin Baylor, David Thompson, Mike Bibby, Willis Reed, and Oscar Robertson. Um, the reason I've sort of started this set was I already had the Tim Hardaway from a side PC and my Drexler. And um, this is one of just the cleanest autograph sets going around. Um, not crazy expensive. And the card focuses more on the autograph than doesn't anything else, which is, to me, that's the whole essence of buying an autograph card, is to get a nice, beautiful autograph. Um, I'm only chasing probably about four more of these, I think, before I get into the ridiculously expensive ones, which I won't be chasing because um, they're all upwards of a thousand dollars and I'm not spending that sort of money on a side PC item. Um, next on to more of the Hakeem stuff. So I'm not going to open this one up, but this is an old star set, silver series. Um, these came out exactly the same cards, different backgrounds. Um, this series is number 2000, so not a super rare series. But um, just caught my eye and it was really cheap. Um, next is a Planet Metal. I picked this one up pretty cheap. And this is a pretty hot card at the moment. So quite happy to have that one. Then we've got a Choice Reserve. As you can see, just sort of flashing there. That's why I grabbed this one. It looks like nothing special. But these are um, were fairly limited impacts. Then we have... A big boy, a Topps Chrome Refractor, first year, um, 96, 97. Um, this was the only one I needed to, to finish off my Topps Chrome Refractor set um, of the base ones. So really, really happy to get it. And this looks like a beautiful copy. 
I'll have to run a better eye over it later, but I will be now grading all of my Topps Chrome stuff. Um, next was, this was a pickup from another guy on the page. Um, he hardly ever sells anything, and um, I sold my version of this a few years ago. Very happy to have this back in the collection. 52 of 100 Ultimate Victory. Um, this is about 99, 2000, so this is quite an old card. Then we're into some more of the modern stuff. So this is the this is the trophy club stuff. I'm just sort of starting. Um, I've got about three about three quarters of the set. Then some Goodwin's Champion stuff. I'm only just starting to get into that too. Um, you guys will see my collections a bit everywhere. I just collect what I like. Um, I'm not really bothered about what anyone else cares about my collection. I just sort of enjoy it for myself. So we've got a career achievements. Um, I'm hoping that this is a nice copy. I'll have a good look at it a bit later because um, my copy is a bit average. I've got quite a few copies, but I want a really nice one. Another little set that I'm working on. Um, this is the, um, the the scoring kings of um, a mid sort of teens Donra set. Then we've got the Topps Gallery Ren Renaissance. This is a numbered card from the 90s. Um, pretty sure it was numbered anyway. Um, anyway, we'll move on. Now this is one of my favorite early 90s cards. Um, absolutely nothing special, but I just love this card. Um, anything that's a close up picture, I'm a big fan of. And this is one of the better centered versions I've seen. So I had to pick this one up. Now this is a double. Um, I picked up this wholly and solely because I need to get a 9.5 in this just to go along with my collection from the Round Ball Royalty set. Um, and plus the um, this particular one of the set is my favorite card anyway, so I'm happy to have multiples. Now this pretty much completes my set except for the one of one from this set. Um, the 2008 tops, I think it is. Um, this isn't a particularly short number one, but it's my final one. And this finishes my set of the um, the Academy Fine Arts. This is the number to 25, um, as you'll see down there. And then we've got a new card from this year, um, a legendary holofoil um, from Contenders. Um, now this is probably my favorite modern set, Revolutions. Um, oh, sorry, this is the Mosaic one, but um, I love this stuff. And Into the Revolutions next, the Revolutionaries. Um, beautiful sort of sheen on this card. And, oh, should have pulled all this stuff out before I started. I think this one here is the um, number two 100 version. Yep. So we've got number two out of 100. Um, you'll see another one of these a bit later. This is the Cubic to 50 from the 1718 set. Um, the Icons, number to 50. Oh, number to 100, sorry. Um, there we are. Number 33 of 100. Sorry, Jeff, one off. Um, then we've got the Green from the Winner Stays. Uh, number to 149. The Gold Wave, unnumbered card. And then these two are a pickup I got in a trade. Um, both doubles for myself, but um, if anyone's chasing either of these two, contact me. Um, I would be happy to trade both of these away. We've got an early refractor to 400, the Bowman's, and then we've got the um, finest number one refractor. Um, both beautiful cards and i um, happy to keep them, but if anyone else needs them and is willing to trade, definitely contact me. And a double of one of the Topps Chrome Refractors. I only paid a couple of dollars for this and couldn't resist grabbing it. Um, again, if anyone needs that one, you can contact me as well. All right, into a heap of Com C stuff that I've got. I'll flick through this stuff pretty quick because it's a wide variety of stuff. More of the Moses Elite. Tim Hardaway, my biggest side PC. Um, a lot of numbered stuff in this. Um, 
Crusade was one of my favourite sets. I'm really bummed out that Panini didn't do that anymore. Um, a Wilt Chamberlain to 75 um, of the Round Ball Royalty. Yeah, I still don't understand why Panini dropped this. For me, this is nicer than Prism, but maybe other people didn't like it. Um, and that, I think, is most of my non-Elijah one stuff that I've picked up. So moving into, I've only just really started getting into the Prism stuff with Elijah one, but I've picked up a fair chunk of it already. So the 1415 Prism, finishing off the 1415 Select set. Um, I don't think there's too many of these in here. Um, more of the 1415 Prism. That one I think is to 20, no, 49. Um, the number to 25 from the Elite set, that's a really pretty set. Um, yeah, a lot of the Prism stuff, as I said, I've been pretty heavy into that. Um, you'll see a lot of it. Another one of the revolutionaries, I'm putting together the set of those as well. And um, I've also just recently started this set, which I think I've got most of these already as well that you're going to see in here, numbered to 299. And then we've got, I've got some double ups. So again, if people need any of the double ups, feel free to contact me. This is the number to 65. Um, we've got the fast break prism, the red, the green. You guys are gonna kill me because I don't know the names of all of these. Um, the prism is so new that I'm, this, this is literally the first time I'm seeing most of these. So just bear with me. Then we've got the 1314 Prism. Um, I've got a few of the base of that. Um, and the 1314s all together, we've got the orange, which is number 260, I think. Um, we've got the light blue, which I'm pretty sure is 199 from memory. Um, more of the legends. And more of the um, 1415 Prism, which this is my favourite of all the Prism sets. Um, so that one there is the silver and that one's the normal. Um, until you see them in person, it's actually quite hard to tell them apart. Um, but I've almost completed that set. Um, I've just made a, quite a big trade for the, gold, for, the, for the gold in that set, which you'll see in a video in the next couple of weeks. So we've got the blue, we've got the blue mojo, I believe it is. Then on to the 1516, um, that is the silver. And then I think the one behind that is the normal. No, two of the silvers, the blue, the purple, and then Hawkins is another one, as you've seen a couple of already. And I've got two of the purple in this set, which are numbered to 99. Um, I got the second one ridiculously cheap by two or $3. Um, if anyone's chasing that, contact me and um, we'll see if we can work something out. And then on to the last stack before we get into the graded cards, which I've been saving for last for you people to hang around to the end. Um, this was a auto card I picked up so cheap and um, it's shown up and it is so much nicer than I ever expected. I'm actually really pleased I picked this up. I think I paid $20 for it. Um, you can't beat that for an auto. Um, this is the AU Awesome, or AU Sum. Um, this is a, a round about a 99, 2000 card. Very, very short print. And I'm very, very happy to have one of these again. I sold mine probably about a year ago and regretted it almost instantly. So back in the collection. Then we've got the Ballhawks Refractor. Beautiful card. And this is the numbered one. So numbered one, uh, 259 out of 263. Sorry this video has got so long, guys, but there's just so many cards to get through um, into some of the really, really big stuff now. So we've got the 90, uh, 99 2000 order graphics to 50. Um, thank you very much to the person that dealt this to me. Um, I, again, one of my ones I regret selling many years ago. Um, but back in my collection now. And then we've got the standard one of that. And we've got more short prints from um, Crown Royale. 
another case hit card, which is your um, power in the paint. And we've got the power in the paint from the year following that. Another case hit card. Now this is a really odd one. Charles Barkley, I know it's in the middle of all this, but this is the other side of the Hakeem card. So um, I had to grab that. And we've got a Court Kings, um, which is, what is it called? Uh, which is uh, points in the paint. Um, I'm not a big just plain jersey card collector, but I actually do the sets. So I've got the jersey version. I've got the uh, patch version of this already, so I had to get the jersey. Um, probably overpaid a little bit. Now, this is probably one of my top five sort of um, Elijah on cards. I love this. And there's about four to five different variations of color. This is the first one I own of the red yellow. Um, very happy to have that. And into another little Elijah on set I've just started, which is the factions. Uh, to 149, 199, the base. Um, into the all time greats, which we've got that is the horizon. And we've got two of the crystal. I'm pleased they're all labelled because my eyes would struggle. Um, into the chronicles, stitches in time. Um, I love I love um, chronology. Um, I've got quite a lot of chronology. Um, I just love the font and the design of the chronology cards. All right, so that is most of the stuff. Last of all, there was a grading order in this lot too, this box here. So you people that have hung around all, all the way to the end, this is the icing on the cake. Um, in the background, there is some supplies I picked up. Um, just some top loaders and stuff. They're getting very hard to get here at the moment. But um, so the first one is the Regents of Round Ball. Um, as I said, I've got another one of these, the Elijah one coming. Um, so happy. This is the first time I've actually seen this card. I bought this and sent this to my buddy in Texas, um, Retro Hoops Collectibles on um, on YouTube. Um, thank you so much for helping with my grading. It helps it helps me out a heap. Um, and this is just stunning. So, so happy I bought this card. And for the first time I've seen it, just amazing. Um, this is one of the ones I sent him, the double feature refractor, Elijah One and Pippin. This is the double refractor as well. Um, 9.5, stoked with that. Um, I'm going to send the other two of these to get done. The one which is refractor Elijah One and refractor Pippin. Um, so, then this one was the first card I bought when I started collecting again about 12 months ago. Um, very, very short print this card. This is number three out of five. Um, the auto got a 10, the card got a nine. Very, very happy with that. Um, and I just think this is a beautiful card. The red for the rockets, the hot prospects. Yeah, just got me straight away. An odd one for you guys to see pop in here. But this is an AD Rookie, um, graded 10. Not one of the most popular sets, but I'm very happy to have this in my collection as, as well. And then I told you there'd be another one of these Cubics in here, uh, 9.5. This one is 25 out of 50. So happy with these grades. There wasn't one card here that really disappointed me. Um, this one here, if, if any of them did, it might have been this one, but I'm still happy with a nine. The only reason I'm chasing a 9.5 is because I have a couple of the others in 9.5 in, in SCG slabs. Um, but I'm not going to complain about a nine. And then this was my first ever Prism card that I owned. Um, I bought this because it was Rockets Red and um, it graded a nine. Um, just goes straight into my Prism collection. I'm very, very happy to have this. Uh, and oh, oh, the second last card here is a big card. Um, you Rockets collectors would know this. The Platinum Medallion numbered out of 50. I am so happy with a 9 on this. I know when um, my buddy Retro Hoops Collectibles found this one in the lot, he was maybe a little bit disappointed it came out of 9. I don't think he possibly realised what a big card this is. Um, as a raw version of this card, they go for two, $300. Um, not that I would ever sell this, but it would be worth a pretty penny in a nine. Um, and that's what, 
23 out of 50. The last one is a huge card, not an Elijah one, but a Kareem Loyalty, 2 out of 14, 10 on the auto, 9.5 on the card. Um, I saw an ungraded one of these about two months ago sell for nearly $600. I can only speculate what this would go for, but um, again, um, Kareem's one of my PC guys, and I've owned this card already for 10, 12 years. It's not going anywhere, um, but yeah, super happy to own this. If any of you guys have actually made it to the end of this, thanks for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed seeing all the cards, and um, hopefully I'll have some better content for you soon, talking about some of the rare sets and maybe some pull rates and stuff like that for you. Thanks. Bye.